Um, so before we start this lesson, I just wanted to say if, uh, if you need any more time on your observational mark making from when you did your plants, flowers and bugs, please give yourself just 10 minutes just to do a bit more work on that, uh, take some time on it. Um, and then if you have not submitted that photograph of that page of work, please do that onto Teams um, so I can just check that you have completed the task. Then please move on to this one. Hiya five, um, welcome to your next lesson. Um, I hope you enjoyed creating your mark making observational work. Um, I appreciate it was really hard. Uh, and I have seen a few and I'm really glad to say that there's been some really um, thoughtful pieces of work and some people have really taken their time. So thank you for that. Please make sure that when we are working on all these pieces, these pieces, uh, just upload your work to Teams. Um, Otherwise, I don't know that you've done the work and I can't track it. So it's, please, it's really helpful. And it's also really helpful just to see what you've been doing. Because um, like in art, everything is different. Um, and that's really why I enjoy it. Um, so today we're going to be looking at um, printmaking. So this is why we've been drawing with marks. Um, and this shows you why. There are two videos to watch as well as this one. There is a how-to video on how dry point etching works. And there's also a kind of um, a documentary clip from an artist called Kiki Smith, who has um, a living printing a range of um, different things, basically. So please watch both of those. Um, we're going to create a bit of an information page today on printmaking. Um, we normally do it at the start of the project, but I thought this would be quite nice on a new technique. Um, so we understand it a bit better before we move on to doing some more practice work. Please uh, do use the video to help you here, and also please use the Word document that I will create for you to help you see the step by step. I um, hope you find it interesting learning about this, um, and I'll look forward to seeing your work. So here is the start of my etching information page. Um, you can see I have drawn it out in pencil first, and I have rubbed out a few times, that happens. Uh, and then I've gone over it with my fine liner to help it stand out. I'm now going to add around 10 arrows, uh, at least, um, to cover the key points of what I'm going to watch in the videos. Hi, year five. So here is my nearly finished information page on etching. Um, you can see that I have left three. Now the aim really is for you to do all ten in your own words, but I appreciate that you might want a few of mine to get you started. So what I've done is I've done seven for you and I've left the last three. Now of course you don't have to do just ten, that is the minimum. You can add in more arrows around this page and complete uh, adding in more facts and more information. And if you'd like to do that, please do. You could even sketch in um, ideas around the edges if you like or even sketching what a press looks like. So I'll just go through now um, what I have have written down to help you. So we'll start here. Um, so Kiki Smith will print hundreds until she is happy with her final print. Um, that one I, I have taken from the video on Kiki Smith. And then the rest of these are from the information video on the how-to. So it says to add in dark areas you have to add lots of lines. Only using line is very important because that's how it's marked in. Uh, lots of prints are made by drawing first then copying. Uh, you need to use a printing press, otherwise the ink won't transfer. Ink is added into the grooves, it helps to transfer. Image is created using marks scratched onto a surface. Um, so here we go, this is it so far. Um, I hope you enjoy watching the videos and writing the notes. Obviously the videos, just pause them uh, when you hear a key bit of information and then restart them um, and I appreciate that's going to take time um, but enjoy watching and listening and I'm really hoping we'll be able to use this technique when we go back to school.